Hello everyone, I'm Simon Toskin, and that's Buff Pro, and you guys sent us a video from the Law and Crime Network talking about eight disturbing details in Ruby Frankie's guilty plea agreement. So if you remember, uh, Ruby Frank, she had, oh God, like she's been arrested at the end of last year. Uh, she had a, used to have a YouTube channel, Eight Passengers, and then started working with uh, another person. God, I can't remember all the, the details anymore, but ultimately her kids escaped and we're, we're being abused. There's a, there's a big rabbit hole to go down with all this of like weird things like the old videos and like the, the oldest daughter trying to like get something done to the mom and everything. But anyway, they, they got her, they arrested her when one the, the two of the kids escaped out the window and went and got help from a neighbor. And we don't know where the husband is, but hopefully this video uh, will kind of shine some light on what really happened because I haven't seen anything that's been talked about myself since she just, she's pled guilty. Like, that's all I've heard. So, come along with us for the ride, and let's see what this piece of freaking trash... <laughs> so she got herself a plea deal, I guess. <clears throat> with my deepest regret and sorrow for my family and my children, guilty. Her plea agreement goes into detail about what she did to her kids, and it is horrifying. Mm. So, the, uh, I guess we'll go with the plea deal, hopefully. Also, what does this mean for a potential sentence? We break it all down for you now. Welcome to Sidebar. But you know they're trying to cry like Big Ed does, like blinking her hard and everything? Hmm. Yeah, trying to bring it on like quick. Eve is responsible for making her lunches in the morning, and she actually told me she did pack a lunch. So the natural outcome is she's just going to need to be hungry. That's a, that's a very old controversial video from them right there of how like her, her kid went to school without a lunch and was hungry, and the, the, the teachers called the mom, and she's like, eh. Tough titties. Ruby ended up partnering up with a woman named Jody Hildebrandt, who was offering these That's life who it is. Jody, Hil jo Jody Hildebrandt is who that she became partnered with and who I I've seen different things of them, like even trying to put all the blame on Jody about how like all this crazy stuff happened. But the, the weird stuff that they talk about even predated their relationship. So whatever. But in August, she and Hildebrandt were each arrested and each charged with six counts of aggravated child abuse of Frankie's two young children who were... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of them got arrested. That's right. What, what, what was aggravated child abuse? Aggravated. I'm just kind of going through, like, just a quick Google search. It looks like that's when there's actual physical... Actual physical harm. Yeah. And by the way, Kevin ended up filing for divorce from Ruby, and according to his lawyer, he had been living separately from her for over a year before her arrest. Yeah, the, the husband, yeah, Kevin, the husband, he's been living separately for, for over a year. I don't know if a year's enough, man, to uh, be cleansed of all those allegations that are going to be happening with that. Exactly. Ruby Frankie is a devoted mother and is also a woman committed to constant improvement. Initially, Miss Frankie believed that Jody Hildebrand had the insight to offer a path to continual improvement. Miss Hildebrand took advantage of mm. this quest and twisted it into something heinous. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, this is what I was talking about. It's like wow. they're, they're, they're they're blaming it on. Yeah. How dare Hildebrand make her crazier than she already was? They're her kids. Exactly. Oh god, this this whole thing just makes me so mad. And she's oh god, it's like she, I, I, mm. I I understand what they're doing on a legal aspect of like hey, it's her fault, you know, you know, give me a less sentence because each account each count of the abuse is like what like fifteen years or something they said in this. And uh, right. he's like, hey, she did it all. And I'm sure she's over there like Hildebrandt's like, nah, it was her. Yeah, okay. I was trying to talk sense into her. She pled guilty to four of the six charges, four counts of aggravated child abuse. She pled guilty to four out of the six. Oof. So they had like maybe not enough proof to prove that she did the other two or something. And these counts were about abuse of both of the kids where the physical injuries resulted in starvation or malnutrition that jeopardized the child's life. I wonder if since this was a plea deal, the prosecution just agreed to drop something. They even talk about the 911, how they're like emaciated or whatever. Like they, they, they're hungry, you know, that they're, they're skinny. Right. And it's like they're dropping those. Yeah. Like, well, <laughs> OK, throw the whole book at her. OK, so it starts okay. from approximately May 22nd, 2023 until August 30th, 2023. So now we have a date range, three months of this abuse in Washington County, Utah. The defendant, Ruby Frankie, intentionally or knowingly inflicted and allowed another adult to inflict serious physical injuries upon her children. <sighs> All right. So she's admitting this. She's like, I did this. And we got dates, too. So like, like I said, the, the, the like the channel got shut down a long time ago because people are like, this is freaking weird stuff. And the YouTube shut it down or whatever. 
but then like the the charges they're putting dates on that which you know i'm sure every anybody that's like kept up with this and went down the rabbit hole is like screaming at the sky right now like it's been going on longer than this but that's just what they have proof of and so we're just gonna take what you can get right. i guess and i'm sure i'm sure because they put dates on this that's how the husband was able to get off yeah yeah that's that's exactly what i was gonna say next is that's why he was like a year ago i was gone <laughs> i wasn't <laughs> yeah. i was not there <laughs> i was definitely not in the house at all i left my children with that lady that i had to get away from right you know what a great dad and count one is aggravated child abuse of rf her 11 12 year old son and it's about physical injury that includes physical torture. This is what it says. Cool. Count one. Torture? He was forced to stand in the direct sunlight for several days. These actions resulted in repeated and serious Jeez, sunburns. Man. RF was denied adequate God. water for several of the days he was going. required to remain in the summer heat. And he was punished when he secretly consumed water. Jesus Christ, dude. What a freaking monster. Wow. And she's saying, yeah, yeah, I did that. Like, oh my God, dude. Jeez, I don't that both of them need to pay for for she was if Hildebrandt was there too, get her too. Like this Ooh. is crazy, man. They, they, I feel so bad for these kids. In addition, after RF attempted to run away in July, his hands and feet were regularly bound. Mm. Binding included being tied to the defendant and to weights. Jeez, Many, so he tried to get away and they tied him up. Oh my god. At times, with RF lying on his stomach, ropes were used to tie the two sets of handcuffs together so that his arms and lower legs were lifted off the ground. The bindings resulted again, in... It just keeps going! My God! It goes on to say, again, all part of count one. This is all part of count one, Dane! This is all That's part insane. of count. That's insane. This is insane, dude. Throw her in the trash. Jesus. Bro, she's... I, like, even with this plea deal, she better be catching life. <laughs> I know, right? Like like seven they, lives. Like you know she, she took the plea like, deal dude, to stay out of the chair. Jesus. No, no kidding. That must be it. Well, that's just one count. And then she's over there like, when she gave her plea deal, with regret to my children. Shut up. With my deepest regret and sorrow for my family and my children. Guilty. Yeah, I'll talk about your children. This was woman. Hildebrandt's fault. She made me do it. You don't deserve to talk about your children. Specific instances of abuse committed by the defendant include one, kicking RF while wearing boots. Two, holding his head under water, and three, cutting off oxygen by placing her hands over his mouth and nose. How does it keep, how does it keep getting worse as it goes? Like, I don't know, but I hope she catches all of this in jail. I hope uh, she catches all of I hope everybody in jail hears about what she did, and they, they, they do this back to her. Ooh. This is insane, dude. Golly, all right. Poor kids, man. I'm not going to lie to you. That is actually worse than what I thought we were dealing with. I didn't know any of that. I don't think. Yeah, so I'm, like this is like I, I heard that all oh, they like, got out and they were like they, they they were like tied up and stuff. I didn't know it was that bad. Like I mean, it was already bad enough just with like what little we knew about it. But then like the actual official right. charge is just like good. <sighs> That's insane, dude. All right, count two. Here we go. The defendant and another adult, presumably Jody, regularly sought to indoctrinate RF and convince him that he was evil and possessed. Oh, no. And that the punishments were necessary to repent. No. He was also God. told that everything that was being done to him were acts of love. Wow. <sighs> Actual psychopaths. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah. We're, we're doing this because we love you. You're possessed. This is your fault. <sighs> All right. This was the third count that Ruby is pleading guilty to, but this was actually count five in the original information. And this is about the abuse of EF, Ruby's then nine-year-old daughter. And this is injury resulting in emotional harm. All right, count three. So that was the son. This is the daughter. It's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's probably going to be the same thing. She did not denied food and water abuse. She was repeatedly told she was evil and possessed and punishments were necessary for her to be obedient and for her to repent. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Let's go to the fourth count. Again, this is the last count that Ruby Frankie pled guilty to. This is actually number six in the original information. So, they, yeah, they had her out there in the heat, making her go barefoot and making her run. She was examined August 30th. These wounds were apparently scabs, blisters. Oh, man. So as part of this deal, Ruby Frankie agrees to give up her constitutional rights, her rights to a jury trial, to call witnesses. Okay. So we're getting into, like, what what happens from the plea deal. Like she said, that she, she went up in front of everyone and said, I did this stuff. I am guilty. Dane, I don't know. I'm I, I'm prepared to be extremely disappointed 
with what she got this plea deal. Do you think you think they they saved her life? You think they did? I, I man, with these charges, dude, I, I don't think there's any way. If, if there's any hope for humanity at all whatsoever, <laughs> they don't slouch on this woman's punishment because what she did to those kids is just horrific. Now, there's nothing in here that prosecutors and attorneys worked out regarding a determinate sentence. Okay, so he said that, that there's no, like, Tom sentence on this deal. Okay, so what happened then? I know that by pleading guilty to a crime that carries a mandatory right. penalty, I will be subjecting myself to serving a mandatory penalty for that crime. The sentences may be imposed one after another consecutively, or they may run at the same time concurrently. So, it is up to the okay. judge to determine what the sentence will be. I guess at this point, her deal is that she just, she's like, I did it and I understand this is what could happen to me. Right. And the deal is that she got two of the charges dropped. That must have been the agreement. I, well, I guess I don't, I, we're going to finish the video and see if it talks about any, but I kind of wonder if that leaves it open to where they're going to try to like spin it that she's the victim and that she didn't do any of it willingly or something like that. I don't know, you know, which... Well, she kind of did with her statement, right? Like, like her oh, yeah, little yeah. statement to the court. I think that's that's that whole. I wouldn't have done this. Uh, this lady did it. Yeah, it's her fault. It's the fact you. Hey, whatever. I hope they. I hope. I hope whatever judge makes the decisions. Like, f you. The maximum sentence I can give you. It says in this agreement, "quote The defendant agrees to serve a prison term, and the sentences for each count are to be served consecutive to each other." It seems to me that is something we may see. So even if it is one year in prison, that's a minimum of four years in prison. Okay, okay. So that's that's important. The, the end right there is like they're going to be consecutive. So she is going to go. She's going. There's no way she doesn't go to prison. And whatever she gets charged for, like sentence wise, they're going to be back to back for every every one. So if she gets ten years per count, then she's in there for forty years. Right. Right. Good. Good. God, good. But I do want to move on to another big point in this plea agreement. The defendant agrees to testify truthfully against mm. Jody Hildebrand. And in return, the Washington County Attorney's Office agrees okay. to remain neutral regarding future hearings before the Utah Board of Pardons and So part of her plea deal is to <laughs> is to testify against Jody Hildebrand. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if Jody's got the same deal though. <laughs> I wonder if they're just going to go in there and rose each other. <laughs> Jeez. That puts pressure on Jody, though, to maybe take a deal, too. Mm. Having Ruby testify against you is not great. <laughs> this guy's talking about yeah. that, what, what we just said. It's like, well, you know, I mean, shit. That's your partner in crime. That can't be good for you. <laughs> just make them make him freaking throw each other under the bus until it just gets worse. Oh, man. Could this help Jody Hildebrand? Will she want to fight this? Could she say, hey, Ruby just admitted everything she did i had no part in this it's gonna be very very hard to argue that <laughs> like that dude's like well she she doesn't like uh, ruby says yeah, i'm guilty i did it and then uh hillbrand goes i'm going to try i didn't do anything she admitted to it all she did it yeah yeah <laughs> yeah oh, that'd be great uh, i mean I, of course, I hope they both go to jail for forever but still just mm. Mm. Now, there's a part that Ruby can withdraw the plea before the sentence. Her sentencing is set for February 20th. We will make sure to cover that here on Sidebar. But as for Jody Hildebrandt, she has a waiver hearing scheduled for December 27th. Will she plead guilty? We All right. So they said that February 20th is the current set date for sentencing. Yeah. All right. Oh, boy, I got to keep up with that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we'll have to come back. We'll just have to. Yeah, we'll have right? to come back to that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. All right. Well, let me know what you think about that in the comments, guys. Let me see what you think about that one. That one's rough. But anyway, if today's your birthday, happy birthday. Say toast, my friends. I love you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.